Hi, I'm Dr. David Green, CEO of the U.S. Pain Network, where we connect those in pain with pain providers and clinics nationwide. The topic today is a very exciting one, and that is platelet-rich plasma for knee osteoarthritis. Now, platelet-rich plasma, known as PRP therapy for short, is the latest and greatest in regenerative medicine for musculoskeletal conditions, such as rotator cuff tendonitis, ligament injury, Achilles tendonitis, epicondylitis, known as tennis or golfer's elbow, and now it's being looked at for knee osteoarthritis. Now it's been used for decades in ophthalmology, urology, cardiovascular medicine, wound healing, but now more research is being done in the areas of pain management, orthopedics, and it's very exciting. So the study that came out late last year at the Hospital for Special Surgery looked at 22 patients who had mild to moderate knee osteoarthritis that was painful, okay? It didn't look at end-stage arthritis, but mild to moderate, which is what, you know, most people have, and they looked at ages 30 to 70, so the average age was 55, both men and women, and it didn't matter where the arthritis was in the knee. It could have been between the kneecap and the femur, you know, on the inside compartment or the outside. That really wasn't ferreted out, okay? They just sort of took, you know, what they got. And the results they looked at over a year, and they looked at um, pain reduction, uh, functional ac activity, and they also looked at MRIs to see if the cartilage remained at the same levels or it dropped. Previous studies have shown that people with knee osteoarthritis usually lose between four and six percent annually of their cartilage. All right, so one injection of six cc's of PRP. So where does PRP come from? And you know, what is it? We'll just do a little aside real quick, okay? PRP comes from your own body. It's just a simple blood draw like you take at the lab, all right, of about 20 to 50 to 60 cc's of your own blood. Now all that doesn't get re-injected. They take that, put it into a machine that spins it around very fast, called a centrifuge, and then the top part, it goes into three layers. The top part is PRP, and that's a lot of, got a lot of platelets in it. It's got a lot of growth factors in it, and that's what gets re-injected. And in this case, they used six cc's into the knee. Now, a lot of athletes have had PRP done. Um, Dwight Howard, Tiger Woods, uh, Troy um, Palomalu. Heinz Ward, people like that. So it's catching on in the world of high-level sports, you know, and also in the regular population, because it's not thousands and thousands of dollars. So what did the study show? Well, they showed across the board pain reduction, very large amounts of pain reduction, okay? And it lasted for, you know, six to 12 months. So we're not talking about just a placebo period, which is, you know, pretty high for a few months, but we're talking about for the year. Second thing it showed was um, increase in functional abilities, such as uh, recreational activities and um, activities of daily living. So that was very interesting, okay? And on the MRIs, usually, you know, we're talking about a four to six percent drop per year. No, three out of four patients had no drop at all in their cartilage levels on the MRI. So very impressive results. It's very significant but it wasn't statistically significant, it was only 22 patients, all right? So it's very, you know, impressive, but they're just gonna need to do a bigger study, and they will, okay? One additional thing I want to point out is that in cow studies in the past, injecting PRP into their knees showed an increase in cartilage formation and also an increase in the amount of stem cells seen in the knee, because what PRP uh, does is it has platelets and growth factors, but it also calls in stem cells into the area of where it's injected. So the theory is that it can help repair and regenerate some of the damage. And in this case, you, know, you can't inject it into a human and then take their knee out to look at it, but clinically it did really well. All right, lots of information on our website at uspainnetwork.com, and it's very easy to just put in your zip code or the city state where you are, and the results will pop up of the pain clinics closest to you. If it says no results found, just request an appointment. We'll help find one, okay? I'm Dr. David Green, U.S. Pain Network. Your pain stops here.